How to choose and change screen size. Changing screen size is easy. Choosing the screen size requires making a decision. Here's how to do it. We'll start with the NTSC standard screen going to NTS widescreen. Standard screen size ratio is 4 to 3. Click on Setup to get the drop-down menu. Click on Project Preferences. Project Format is set at NTSC Standard. Click on the down arrow. Click on NTSC Widescreen. Click OK. Nothing has changed yet. Click on File to get drop down menu. Click on New Project. When asked to save, click No. Pinnacle Video Screen is now set at NTSC Widescreen. The screen ratio now is set at 16.9. Let's repeat the process. Let's go from widescreen back to standard. After changing the project format from widescreen back to standard, I will describe how to adjust some photos and videos to fill the screen. Changing project format. The screen currently is set at 16.9, widescreen. Also notice the black edges to the photos when using widescreen. Click on Setup, then click on Project Preferences. Click on Down Arrow under Project Format. Move the slide bar up to see NTSC Standard. Click OK. Click on File to get menu. Click on New Project. When asked to save, click on No as we are changing screen. The screen size is changed back to standard. Notice the black edges on photos has disappeared. Changing widescreen to standard is successful. But notice the black edge at the bottom of the video screen and on the photos to the left. Notice the first three photos have black edges top and bottom and the two photos on the right do not. There is a command called zoom picture to fill frame. The fill frame command can be used on one photo or several at one time. I have highlighted the first three pictures and right clicked on the timeline. On the pop-up menu, click Zoom Picture to Fill Frame. Notice all three photos still have black edges top and bottom, but notice the video screen on the right. Pictures 4 and 5 remain the same. The Zoom Picture to Fill Frame command can be used on widescreen, but be careful you can zoom too much. I used the Fill Picture command and look what I got. Notice the top of the photo has been cut off. Not. There are other tools for filling the screen taught in a class called How to Use Pan and Zoom. 